We've had some luck with rain recently, so why not hang some clothes and see if we can get it to rain some more. to see David, David the Good. Welcome back. It's nice to see you all again. Back in the saddle this week and getting stuff done. And I have something really kind of cool to show you. Um, have you seen one of these before? I hadn't either. I thought it was some sort of little fruit or something. When the farmer came by and he said, here, these are for you. And I looked at it, I said, what are those things? Tonka beans. These are tonka beans. Now, that might not mean anything to you, but tonka beans are illegal. Yes, very, very illegal. They'll come and raid your spice cabinet if you have tonka beans. So, let me show you what they look like up close. Though this may not really look like a bean, this is actually and truly in the bean and pea family. Unlike vanilla beans, which are not beans at all, or coffee beans, which are not beans at all, the Tonka bean really is a bean. It's kind of cool. Let's open one up and show you what it looks like. This one here has been smacked in half with a rock. And you can see the bean on the inside. That is it right there. That is a Tonka bean. Looks terrifyingly illegal, doesn't it? So why should we care about tonka beans? Is it just some sort of an esoteric plant that really only is interesting to me? Probably. No, not really. Chefs like it. Perfumers like it. And uh, the locals like it a lot. The reason it is illegal is because of a substance called coumarin which in a faulty 1950s study where they force fed it to rats apparently was dangerous. It's not really dangerous. It's not. People just freak out over these things and then they become a problem forever and ever and ever. You know, like marijuana, breast implants, climate change. It's the kind of stuff people go, oh my goodness, now the world's gonna freeze. Oh, now the world's gonna burn up. Oh, now I can't go up to a C cup. You know, I mean, come on. There's like, there are cycles of hysteria and things get thrown out or thrown in and before everything is really settled and rules get passed and legislation gets thrown through and that seems to be what happened with the Tonka bean. The Tonka bean is now off the market in the US. I mean, you can get it if you're buying it, you know, in unmarked packages through the mail and people really want it, particularly chefs, but it's technically illegal. So there's always sort of like, the, you know, this news hysteria thing that goes on where, you know, this is dangerous. You know, we, uh, we force fed glaciers to rats and now the, the North Pole, the polar bears are dying. Okay, so let's stop doing that. Anyhow, the Tonka bean, the reason it's fantastic is because it has, that it's illegal or or any of that you want to know what it tastes like don't you and smells like that's the really that's the really exciting I mean he thinks that that it's illegal is exciting and I guess some of you think it's exciting no, I like it because it's a legume but let me oh okay and nitrogen does it fix nitrogen right right okay well then yeah yes. okay that's that's, ex that's exciting well it's important <laughs> I, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm hanging the laundry over here and I'm listening to him go on and on about this. This You want to know what it's like. It smells so good. 
It smells like a mixture of cinnamon. <laughs> do you want to, do you want to stand on my feet so you're in the frame? <laughs> it smells like cinnamon and vanilla. It smells so good. And I haven't used it yet, but I want to. Um, I have to find a, a particularly fantastic, some sort of something. Uh, yeah, like a, like a spice something. cake or to, yeah, that would be ice good cream. Name, it's it's like a toasted vanilla. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it, it even really, the even I'm the pods are like because it, it smells so so good. So that's the exciting bit. There you go. Thank you. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. <laughs> Get upstaged by my wife again. Tonka beans. Yeah, they do. They smell amazing. They're fantastic. She's hung the laundry out and it's starting to get a little overcast. Feeling good about that. But I'm going to take these Tonka beans now that I have them. And I only have a few, I only got three. So I'm, I've, got, I've got one of them that's open. That one is going to go to Rachel's experiments and then these two I'm gonna plant them just like this because I've heard they may germinate with the husks on and do better than if I take the husks off I don't know maybe I'll split one open and plant the middle and then the other one I don't know let's go plant them because that's exciting and it's illegal <laughs> my potting soil today is a mixture of dirt from the Back to Eden chicken run, dirt slash compost slash whatever, mixed with compost from the low infrastructure compost pile that I made with sticks on one of my garden beds. And then I have these handy dandy little bag things which are so much cheaper than pots and reusable. And you can get them on Amazon in the US. I get them from a local agricultural place because it's still way cheaper than uh, trying to put things in pots, particularly when you're starting seedlings and a bunch of trees that are going out into the field. I don't want to bother. So there's one bag and oh yeah, looking good. Pour it all over the place. That's why we do it on a bench. Yo, check it out. I'm putting Tonka beans in the bag. Plastic bags because they're cheaper than the pots, y'all. Gotta get those little Tonka beans to sprout, y'all. Put them on the bench and I'm dropping stuff all over the ground. Like I can't hear a sound. I'm just kind of freestyling on the mic like, oh. Uh, just basically didn't write nothing down. Don't have a frown cause I'm happy. I'm planting seeds in the sunshine. Cut my head out in the next scene. Uh. We are almost out of water in this rain barrel because it's been so long. We had a, a bit of rain last night, which probably put some back, but the pressure has dropped a lot because it's no longer way up in the tank. We're down near the bottom. But I'm very glad that this is running off of rainwater because it means when the rain comes down we catch a little again and the pump keeps running in the background you'll hear it in my video sometimes uh, because the water has been shut off to our area due to drought and it only runs like a couple hours a day and then it runs into a cistern and the cistern fills up a little bit overnight and then we pump that into the house with a pump it's uh you know it's not exactly like living in the u.s but I'm glad to be here. It's kind of fun. All right, little Tonka beans, grow. Thanks for joining me and my beautiful wife. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check out the Compost Your Enemies t-shirts and the Veggie Wars t-shirts from Aardvark Tees. I'm so psyched about them, they're awesome. I'm eventually gonna get them here, but it's international shipping, so it kinda takes a little while. Eventually, I'll have one and I'll wear it and I'll feel fantastic. So, catch y'all next time. Check out my website, thesurvivalgardener.com. And until then, may your thumbs always be green. I went to see David, David the Good. We 
listen to Portis Head and drink spiced rum. It smells so good. It smells like a mixture of cinnamon. <laughs> do you want to stand vanilla? on my feet so you're in the frame? <laughs>